Hi everyone, today we are going to be taking a look at the top 5 Raspberry Pi web browsers. Let's get right to it. So here I am on my Raspberry Pi and I have all these web browsers installed. If you want to know how to install them, I will leave instructions down in the description per browser. But let's get to it. Alright, so number 5 on the list we have Midori right here. So these actually used to be the default web browser for Raspberry Pi OS. That was several years ago, but let's check it out right here. So it takes a long time to like load up my channel or something, but here I loaded up raspberrypi.org. So if we go to hardware, all products, it takes a bit to get over there. So it's a little bit slower and then the UI is kind of you know, a little bit different than a lot of stuff. I mean, it's not it's not all that different, but it's somewhat a little bit different. But yeah, this web browser, you'll get by with it, but there are better options. So let's take a look at the next one. So here next up we have Vivaldi and so let's take a look at it here. So this is, you know, a browser that runs on multiple operating systems. And let's go over to my channel. And you can see it's actually showing how much data we've used. That's one thing that I like about this browser. But it loads up reasonably quick and it can, you know, handle some browsing. Let's head over to my website. So depending on what your use case is, this might be a good browser for you. So you can see it loads up reasonably quick. If we go to the blog, it's okay. And let's move on. Next up, we have Firefox. No, not the ESR version, but this, the full Firefox, the latest version. Let's take a look at it. So let's head over to my channel. We're really getting into the good browsers now. So these and Chromium are the, the, some of the best ones, but then there's one after that that's really, really good. But this runs very well and it's very comparable to Chromium. So I, I couldn't decide, you know, how to order this, but I think Chromium has better video playback, but let's head over to my website. This loads up my website nice and fast for Raspberry Pi. And so I think this is a great browser. Let's move on to our next one. So next we have Chromium, the browser included with the Raspberry Pi. So this is just normal Chromium. And as we've been doing, let's head over to my channel. That actually seemed like it might have been a little bit slower than Firefox, but I think overall it's, you know, pretty much the same. Let's head over to my blog. So the reason why I put this ahead of Firefox is mainly because that's what the Raspberry Pi Foundation, you know, uses as their main browser. But, you know, I think they're pretty much the same as far as how good they are. The thing with Chromium, though, is the the inconvenience of having to go through a bunch of hoops to to like get sync enabled and allow you to stay signed into your Google account because that's a thing that has gone on recently and it's complicated but you know Chromium and Firefox are very close but there is one more that I like even better than these. Peter I present to you the fast fast puffin internet terminal this browser is so much faster than all the other browsers i made the video on it but if we head over to my channel it loads up very fast because it uses cloud technologies and then if we head over to my website it loads almost instantly this browser is so fast the only disadvantage is it can't get the Chromium extensions, but it's definitely worth installing and you can use these along with Chromium or Firefox to get the ultimate Raspberry Pi web browsing experience. 
that is it for this video if you liked it make sure to leave a like and consider subscribing to this channel if you have not done so already and until next time we will see you next time